How many lives could have been saved if drivers were sober? Drinking is expensive. If alcohol was erased from the budget every Friday night, how many homes would have electricity, food, fathers? How many mothers would not be raising children on a single parent's budget alone? How many of our daughters would have never been date raped or abused if they were sober? How many of our sons would not be in Fox Hill prison if only they had not taken a drink? How many medical illnesses would be non-existent? How many murders do you think were committed when under the influence? If there was no drinking, how many of us would find true happiness in God, family relationships, ourselves, instead of the bottle? Think about it. Is drinking really worth it? Rise above the influence. Be your best. Abstain. This message was brought to you by Life Community Church, Pilar's Drive, telephone 3525266. Welcome to Grand Bahamas News Show, Tingham, brought to you by Simply the Best Productions. One may ask, what is Tingham? Tingham can be defined in Bahamian terms as a person, place, or thing. Hence, Tingham, anything and everything Bahamian. Simply the Best Productions brings you the exciting show, Tingham, everything and anything Bahamian. As we near the hurricane season, Tingham wanted to help prepare our fellow Grand Bahamians. Where to go, what to purchase, tips and guidelines to help all of us have a safe hurricane season 2009. Since the inception of the city of Freeport in 1955, the Grand Bahama Port Authority has managed the growth and development of the port area through the promulgation of bylaws, the development, administration, control, and maintenance of the infrastructure of the port area. Even though there are no specific bylaws governing the Grand Bahama Port Authority Limited as it relates to disaster management, because of its maintenance and repair roles, Grand Bahama Port Authority Limited some years ago established a disaster management committee under the chairmanship of the then president, Sir Albert Miller, and continues today under the leadership of the current president, Mr. Ian Rowe. June 1st marked the start of the 2009 hurricane season preventing the loss of life and minimizing the damage to property from hurricanes are responsibilities that are shared by all. To assist in your hurricane preparedness plan, a hurricane safety booklet is available to the public and may be collected from the receptionist area at the Grand Bahama Port Authority's headquarters building. Right away! Uh, I have a big promotion in Nassau. I have to catch this flight to Nassau. <laughs> I need to catch a flight into Nassau. What happened? You missed the flight in. I can't believe I got bumped off the flight, man. I had three disguises and they still bumped me off the flight. Don't sweat it. You ain't here with regional A. For only a hundred and... You can catch any one of their three flights to Nassau daily and still get to that comedy show on time. On the screen is a guide for suggested items needed to weather the storm. Disaster Supply Kit. Water, at least one gallon daily per person for three to seven days. Food, at least enough for three to seven days. Non-perishable packaged or canned food juices. Canned baby food and shelf milk. Foods for infants or the elderly, snack foods, non-electric can opener, cooking tools, fuel, paper plates, plastic utensils, blankets, pillows, etc. Clothing, 
seasonal. Rain gear, sturdy shoes. First aid kit, medicines, prescription drugs. Ice for insulin and a proper igloo type container. Special items for babies and the elderly. Toiletries, hygiene items, moisture wipes. Flashlight, batteries, radio, battery operated. Telephones, fully charged cell phone with extra battery and a traditional non-cordless telephone set. Cash with small bills and credit cards. Banks and ATMs may not be available for extended periods. Keys, toys, books, and games. Important documents in a waterproof container or watertight resealable plastic bag. Insurance, medical records, bank account numbers, social security cards, national security cards. Tools, keep a set with you during the storm. Vehicle fuel tanks, fill them up. Generators as needed, but please be sure safety precautions are exercised. Pet care items, proper identification, immunization records, medications, ample supply of food and water, a carrier or cage, muzzle and leash. Please keep in mind that you should add to this list as needed in order to accommodate the number of people that occupy your home. These suggested items are only a guide. Please use common sense in your disaster prevention. Now is the time to prepare. Each week as you shop for your regular household items, you are encouraged to add your hurricane supplies to the list. Hurricane watches and warnings are issued when the storms get closer to the Bahamas. You can track the progress of storms by listening to the coordinates given by our local meteorologists. The Tropical Cyclone Bulletin contains information regarding the storm system, whether it's a tropical storm or a hurricane. Among this information includes the intensity of the storm system, the position of the storm system, that's the latitude and longitude coordinates. These coordinates are plotted on a weather map. The latitude would be the lines going across on the weather map, and the longitude lines are the lines, the vertical lines coming up and down. The Latitude and longitude coordinates are the position of the center of the storm and that is why it is very important to listen to the information that is broadcast regarding the storm system because most of the weather, the wind field and the weather associated with that storm system may extend well beyond where the center of that particular storm is. In the tropics, a number of uh, low pressure systems develop throughout the North Atlantic hurricane season. A system is named once it reaches tropical storm strength, that's wind speeds in excess of 40 miles per hour. Once the winds reach 74 miles per hour or higher, that storm system becomes a hurricane. On the weather map, we have two symbols that show the difference between a tropical storm and a hurricane. The tropical storm system is an inverted comma with an open and it's a clear circle on the inside. When that system becomes a hurricane, we fill in the circle and this is what is plotted again on our weather map. This is what you will see on most weather maps as they we show the position and the intensity and the movement of a particular tropical cyclone system. Tropical cyclones range in intensity from the tropical wave all the way up to the hurricane. A tropical wave is just an area of disturbed weather, showers and thunderstorms and some cloudiness that develop over the Atlantic warm waters and they move from east to west across the Atlantic. That wave may intensify further into a tropical disturbance. Once a low pressure circulation, that's a counterclockwise circulation, is noted, that system is then express or is called a tropical depression. We get a number of tropical depressions that form in the Atlantic Basin throughout the course of the hurricane season. If that depression intensifies and wind speeds reach up to 39 miles per hour or higher, that system is given a name and it is categorized as a tropical storm. Once the storm's winds 